Good morning, it's Wednesday. We continue with First Thessalonians. Today we begin chapter 3 and we'll read the first five verses. Therefore, when we could endure it no longer, we thought it best to be left behind at Athens alone. And we sent Timothy, our brother and God's fellow worker in the gospel of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you as to your faith, so that no one would be disturbed by these afflictions. For you yourselves know that we have been destined for this. For indeed, when we were with you, we kept telling you in advance that we were going to suffer affliction. And so it came to pass, as you know. For this reason, when I could endure it no longer, I also sent to find out about your faith, for fear that the tempter might have tempted you, and our labour would be in vain. So we see Paul's heart here uh, towards the Thessalonians. He's a little bit worried about them. He hasn't had any news. He doesn't know what's happening there. He's worried. He knows that they're definitely being persecuted because Christians are being persecuted everywhere. He's worried they may have uh, drifted back. They may have fallen away. It does happen. Some people gladly receive the gospel. And then when difficulties and trials and, and persecutions and temptations come, they fall away. So he sent Timothy. Uh, even though he really wanted to have Timothy near him, he sent Timothy there to go and check out the situation and not only to check that out, but also to encourage them. Uh, we sent Timothy, our brother and God's fellow worker in the gospel of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you as to your faith, so that no one would be disturbed by these afflictions. So Timothy went there with a message of encouragement, with a message of, of, of just hope and strengthening them. And we will see tomorrow that Timothy came back to Paul with a good report saying, Paul, that has need not fear anything. Everything's in order. The Thessalonians are continuing in the faith. But Paul was very, very concerned about them. He was concerned that they were okay. Encouragement. Encouragement is something that all of us need. At times, all of us get tired. At times, our hands grow weary. At times, we find this running the race very difficult. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And we have to pace ourselves. And at times we get tired. And it's so wonderful when someone comes along and encourages us. A brother or sister turns up from somewhere else and brings us encouragement and strength and good news. So many of you, my dear listeners, are encouraging me when I get messages from you, when you just remind me that you are listening and that you are grateful and that you are praying for me. That really lifts up my hands and strengthens me and gives me the the just the impetus to keep going and, and the will to keep going, to keep bringing you these messages, to keep recording sermons, to keep preaching God's word. So may I encourage you to continue to encourage me and to encourage one another. We are doing this together. It's not a solo race. We are in it together. We are serving God together. We each have our place. And I thank God for all of you. And I pray for you that God would just strengthen you and fill you with his Holy Spirit and that together we would finish the race. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we so thank you that we are part of a, a great big family. We are part of the church, the visible and the invisible. And all of us, Lord, at times need encouragement, need strengthening. And I thank you that we can do that for each other. Thank you for my brothers and sisters that listen to these messages. I ask a very special blessing upon them. I pray, Lord, that you would strengthen them. I pray that you would encourage them. I pray, Lord, that you would help them to continue to have the resolve to never give up, have the resolve to never look back, have the resolve to keep going. And I pray that for myself as well. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for everything. We thank you for this new day. We thank you for a night's rest. We say great is your faithfulness. We bless you on this morning and we thank you, Lord, for everything that you provide for us, your your provision is so bountiful and so wonderful. We lack nothing. We thank you for that. Heavenly Father, we pray for our government and we pray for our country. We pray for our leaders. We pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and understanding and help them to execute their jobs faithfully, to do what is right. We pray, Lord, for those who are being persecuted for their faith. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, just strengthen them and help them and may they not give up. And we pray, Lord, for those that persecute them, that you would forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. Lord God, Heavenly Father, have mercy. Have mercy on the lost. Have mercy on those who are suffering under terrible regimes and evil governments and evil leaders. We pray, Lord, that you would thwart the plans of every evil leader around the world. Uh, and we pray, Lord, for the Ukraine. We pray for peace. We pray, Lord, for Israel and the Middle East. We pray for uh, Palestine. We pray, Lord, for peace. Heavenly Father, we pray for an end to hostilities. We pray for the sick, the dying, the poor, the needy, the homeless. Lord, have mercy. 
Heavenly Father, we lift up before you our loved ones, near and far. We lift up before you the church. We pray that you would cleanse her, strengthen her, renew her. Lord God, may we not waver in our faith. May we be strengthened, and may we always serve you. And may we come to your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts always for everything. Your provision is so beautiful and wonderful and total. We bless, praise, and worship you. Now together we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.